This is Raina, thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video we will make the stripy coin purse. Uh, this is easy. I will show you step by step how to crochet the pattern. Um, I'm using here crossed half double crochet stitches. And then I'll also show you how to attach the stitches here on the frame. And this is a, a great project because it's uh, quick to make and it's a nice gift for anyone. And my purse here measures about five, five inches from side to side. And see about three inches tall. And it's really fun to make them in all these different colors. And I'm using Baton's Grace cotton yarn. My main color is the pink. The, this one is called Lotus. And my contrast color is called Natural. One ball has uh, 50 grams, 136 yards in it. It's more than enough. You can make a few purses out of uh, one ball. But you'll need to contrast the colors. And my purse frame is 4 inches, measured like this. And it has... 28 holes on each side so depending on the number of holes on your purse frame you can adjust the number of your stitches you need because you always need to add four stitches to the total number of of the holes so you have two stitches on this side and also two here so if I have 28 on one side, then my total number of stitches is 60. And my crochet hook is size 3 millimeters. And you'll also need a large needle for stitching. And let's get started. And we start with the contrast color. Mine is white or natural. And make magic ring. So place the yarn tail facing downwards. Cross your fingers. Make a cross. Wrap it around your index finger. Insert your hook under the first strand. And pull the second one through from under, take the finger out, yarn over, pull through the loop, pull it tighter, next chain 2 and this counts as our first half double crochet stitch and on the first round we need 12 half double crochet stitches so we need to make 11 more in the ring and now pull the ring tight by the yarn tail as tight as you can And then to finish the round, we're going to slip stitch in that second beginning chain. 
and now we will join the main color mine is pink here make a slip knot then I first insert my hook through the white color yarn and then do the slip knot of pink color and pull it through and then pull that white color loop tighter and on the second round we're going to uh, make the crossed half double crochet stitch which is easy it is um, uh, the same as two half double crochet stitches together and we always start with one chain which doesn't count as a stitch now yarn over insert hook in that same stitch the beginning stitch below pull up loop yarn over insert hook in the next stitch half double crochet pull up loop yarn over now you have five loops on hook and pull through all of them when we start the next stitch each time first yarn over and then insert hook in that same stitch where you did the last one pull up loop here yarn over and then go to the next stitch pull up loop here again have five loops yarn over pull through all of them yarn over for the next stitch again first insert hook in the same stitch as the last pull up loop yarn over and then go to the next stitch pull up loop yarn over pull through five loops and so we're gonna have 12 of these stitches on the second round then repeat and as you noticed uh, I didn't cut off my white yarn keeping it back here because we will change the color on each round now the last stitch on second round start the same insert hook in the stitch where you did the last one and then for that second leg of this last stitch insert hook in that beginning stitch where you started the first one and then finish this one now to finish the round i'm gonna go and ins uh, insert hook in that first stitch which is here and slip stitch And for the third round, I'm going to bring up my white yarn, which is my contrast color, and pull it through the pink color loop. And then pull in that pink color tighter. We can now start the third round again chain one and in this same stitch we did the last slip stitch we're gonna do two half double crochets one two and in each next stitch same make two half double crochets So we will have 24 stitches on third round. Okay. 
And to finish the round, I will slip stitch in at first half double crochet. And again, changing to my main color, bring it up from behind. And pull it through that last loop. And we're gonna make uh, the crossed half double crochet stitches again. Start with one chain. First insert hook in that same stitch where you did the slip stitch. And then in the next stitch. And again. So on this uh, round, round four, when you finish it, you count, you have also 24 of these stitches. So there is no increase on the round. And let's finish it ag again together. And this is how my fourth round looks here. <clears throat> and the last stitch, again, insert hook first in a last one and then in that beginning stitch where you started the first stitch and then slip stitch insert hook in top of that first stitch and round five again bring up your Contrast color yarn, pull it through the loop, pulling the pink one tighter here, then chain one, and again we will increase, make two half double crochets in each stitch. And because we doubled the stitches on this round, we have a total of 48 now. And again, finish the round with slip stitch in a first double crochet stitch, half double crochet stitch, not double. And now starting the uh, sixth round, again, bring up my main color here, pull it through the loop. Pull this loop tighter, chain one, on the back looks like that. And here, again, we're just gonna do these uh, crossed half double crochet stitches and there will be no increase. So insert hook in that same first stitch, then in the next. And to finish my sixth round, the last stitch again, and 
and slip stitch in the first one. Next round again with contrast color. Bring up from the back, pull through the loop. And from now on, we're going to make single crochet stitches with a contrast color. And on this next round, we are going to increase stitches again by six. So we will make two single crochets in every eighth stitch. And how I start this round, I'm not gonna chain. I'm gonna insert hook in that same stitch, the beginning one, pull up loop and make my first single crochet here. And then single crochet in the next. And in the next. So let's make seven one two three four five six and seven and in eighth one next make two and repeat make seven one two three four five six seven and then in the next make two so we need to have 54 stitches on this round and slip stitch in our first single crochet next round main color pull it through the loop and again we're gonna make the crossed half double crochet stitches so chain one start the first stitch in this first one and then insert hook in the next one so this is the same And you will have 54 stitches also on this round. And finish the round eight. Last stitch. And slip stitch in the first. Bring up the contrast color. And again, don't chain, just make first single crochet. And now we don't increase anymore, just single crochet, one in each to have 54. And then just need to repeat these two rounds, single crochets with contrast color and crossed half double crochets with main color. And then do this until you have 16 rounds completed. So you can count, you'll have five of single crochet rows and then 16th is a half a double crochet round and then the last round we'll finish together is again the single crochet round with uh, contrast color. And I finished 16 rounds. You can see I have one, two, three, four, five of single crochet rounds and then one more half double crochet round. And we can now cut off the main color we're finished with that but I don't fasten off because I still have to make that last round with my contrast color so keeping the main color loop pull 
through the contrast color yarn so you can start last round here make your first single crochet as before now we're going to increase again to have 60 stitches so we're going to make two single crochets in each ninth stitch so first make eight single crochets two three four five six seven eight and in the next ninth make two one and two and repeat this way you increase six stitches on this round and when you count you have a total of 60 and I finished my last row ready to cut off the yarn and I'm going to cut it off and leave a long tail I'm gonna measure 40 inches and this is going to be for stitching the loop here and my first stitch here is going to be inserting my needle through this same first stitch the horizontal loops from back to front and pull it so to hide this uh, last slip stitch here next grab your frame so we can open this up now i'm gonna place it here on top of my purse i'm gonna start in one of the corners here And my last round stitches are going to be placed here on the frame. So how I stitch it is, move it to the first one here. Like this. So here's my first stitch inserting needle front to back under these loops and then through the first hole on the frame and next here insert your needle through the hole first and then also through the loops on the next stitch from back to front and here's my next stitch insert needle from front to back under the horizontal loops and then through the hole of the frame And then through the next hole on the frame from back to front and then through the loops of the next stitch
And here is my last hole on the side of frame, back to front. I'm going to stitch through the next one, and also next one. And I am going to make now a second round. And make another set of stitches here um, so this is why I left this long yarn tail when I cut off the yarn uh, I think it's just uh, going to be more firm this way so I'm going to insert my needle again from front to back here And my first stitch is going to be here in this first hole from back to front.
And here I stitched all around the second time. And back to the beginning here. It's my last hole going front to back. And from here, I'm going to insert it back to front one more time because it's a little easier to weave in this end through these stitches here. And weave in all the other ends here as well. And then we're finished. And this is my finished coin purse. I hope you have fun making your own so many colors to choose and from. you will find the link to written pattern in video description box below thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting